What's up, Top Talent? It's your boy, Miles Grooms, and welcome back to the Top Talent League, where we do things the right way, not the slight way. And today, we're gonna talk about increasing your intensity. That's right. A lot of you guys are lagging in that intensity level, and that's exactly why you're stuck, or you're not seeing as much progress as you wanna see, because the effort is just not there. And I'm gonna give you a couple tips to increase that intensity and to help you get over that hurdle whenever you get caught in a rut, right? You lost in the sauce. I'm gonna help you get up out of that. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like to this channel. Hit that notification bell button so you know when my new videos are dropping. Again, I'm always thankful, I'm always grateful for everyone who views my videos, for everyone who subscribes and engages with this content. I try to be uh, someone who can give you something that help improve your life. When you watch my content, I wanna be able to make an impact on you in a positive way so you can make an impact on somebody else in a positive way. So that way the world is just a better place. We got a lot of craziness going on right now top talent we need to stay together right keep our talents at the top keep improving and that way the world can be a better place but let's go ahead and get started with the topic again we're talking about increasing your intensity okay miles why do i need to increase my intensity i'll take it to fitness you know i always go to that fitness first a lot of times when you go into the weight room you're on your cell phone right you're looking around you're not really attacking your workout the way you need to attack it and then the year goes by and you look exactly the same. Do y'all know anybody when you go to the gym and they tell you they're in the gym all the time and they've been telling you this for like a year and then you see them, they look exactly the same after a whole year. How is that possible? Because the intensity is not there. They're not working out at a high level. They're wasting time in the gym when they could be using that to be more productive somewhere else. It's probably because one, they don't have a plan or two, they never had somebody push them to that level to know what intensity looks like. That's why it's imperative you either get a coach or you go into some type of fitness class to where you can see what intensity actually looks like. Me having a football background from Pee Wee, high school, college, all the way to the pro level, I know what intensity looks like when it comes to training your body, especially with fitness. There's been times in summer camp where I'm praying to God I can make it out of this thing because we're running gases back to back to back, full pass. It's real. So now, since I've been through that, I understand what it takes to work out. Now, do you have to work out that way, doing those gases like I was doing? No, I don't even do that anymore. But I understand the intensity that is needed to perform. I was doing that to be able to perform on Saturday, be able to perform on game day, right? Now my intensity is a little bit different. This is for me to be able to perform in life, for me to perform at work. Whether I own a business or I work a job, there's nothing wrong with either one. But I need to have the energy to be able to perform at a high level. We have to have that intensity. One way to increase that intensity, again, when we talk about fitness, put the phone in your pocket and have your workout programmed already. Already know what you're going to do when you step into the weight room or whether you're about to run outside. Have it already programmed. You need to eliminate as many distractions as possible so you can focus on the task at hand. Eliminate the stresses, put the phone up. Again, two, have that workout program. You know if you're working on chest, you're working on shoulders, you're working on those traps, building that triangle, that superstar physique. You got your exercises already down, you just go through and execute. You don't gotta think about it, you already know what you gotta do. Grab the weight and get to work, right? And then also, lastly, besides just working out in the program, you need to plan out your day. Plan out your day so you know where your energy levels are. You might be spending too much energy on uh, another area of your life that doesn't need that much energy. You might can scale that back so you can pull more into your workout. Right, it's more structure. I give more energy to this workout, I may be able to take some energy away from this area of my life because I'm more organized. I know where I'm spending my energy. I know where I'm spending my time. But until you make that conscious decision, set those boundaries, I know I talk about them boundaries, put them boundaries up and know what decisions I'm going to make. You're not gonna be able to increase that intensity. You're not gonna be able to give it everything you need to give to get the most out of it. So if you only get one thing from this video, I want you to take this with you. Next time you go to the gym, next time you're about to work out, have your program or your workout already completed. Already know what you're going to do. Have your playlist already made and execute. Execute, give it everything you have knock out the distractions, and write down in the comments and let me know how it goes. Until next time, Top Talent.